Okay, wrestling fans, as, as I made my way to the arena here tonight, I was prepared to make an announcement about a wild side icon and the condition that he is in. I thought that was going to be a positive announcement, but it seems the announcement has shifted a little towards the other side. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, many of you know one of the all-time greats here in NWA Wildside, the one of the men that if not he were here, this building probably wouldn't even have wrestling in it right now. The original chosen one, Rick Michaels, has had some serious health problems. His condition has, well, it's, it's taken a turn for the worse. Uh, what doctors originally thought to be herniated back disc problems is actually spinal infection. And, and his condition is just bad. We'll just say that. He's been put in a bed in his home. It, it, it's horrible. I, I'm getting choked up even talking about the, the poor condition that Rick Michaels is in right now. And I just want to ask each and every one of you fans, if I've got a Christmas wish, it's that you keep Rick Michaels in your thoughts and prayers as well as his family. Boy, no argument here. And First of all, I'm sick of hearing about Rick Michaels. Did he just go ahead and die already? I don't need you to hold this damn thing. I'm so sick of you out here, Dan, crying like a little girl about Rick Michaels. Nobody cares about Rick Michaels. The only story you need to tell about him is how Rain Man beat him half to death in this ring and then Iceberg crippled him in the back. What you should be talking about and the sympathy should be with me because the last time we were here, Jason Cross knocked me unconscious right here in the ring. I was supposed to be... There's your sympathy, Jeff. That's not funny. And then I fell right here on the floor on my face and on my knees. I still have bruises on my knees from where that happened. And I, and I don't care about Rick Michaels or Jason Cross. Jason Cross, I know what you were trying to do. You were trying to get that match with John Phoenix. And it almost worked. I almost fell for it. But I told John Phoenix to stay home, enjoy the beach in Florida, and not to worry about you, Jason Cross. So if you did that to get a match, it didn't work. And I'm telling you now, John Phoenix is through with you, and there's really nothing for him to prove because he already beat you right here in the middle of the ring. Now enough. What the hell are you going to do, crazy legs? First off, a lot of times... People can get sports entertainment and realism confused. Well, I want to tell you and everybody out there and that fat piece of <laughs> Bert Prentice that this is about as real as it gets. And you know, you're about as big of a piece of garbage as Bert Prentice is. Because you see, Jeff, what you're doing is you're standing up there with abuse of power, you're trying to hold somebody back. You're trying to hold Jason Cross back. Well, you see, I'm going to do something to help Jason Cross get that shot at John Phoenix. What the hell are you going to do? You can't even wipe your own ass. Everybody in here knows, and all those boys back there know how much this business means to me. But I'm going to tell you something, you son of a bitch. Just so I can see Jason Cross beat John Phoenix and get another chance at getting his hands around your throat, I'm willing to put my career on the line. You give Jason Cross that match, and if John Phoenix can beat him without you helping him, I won't just leave Wildside, I'll leave wrestling. I know I've said that before and turned it into a big little sports entertainment angle. Not this time. I'll leave. You give Jason Cross his match at Christmas Chaos. First of all, Rick, <laughs> look at you. 
What career? You're never coming back to wrestling. You are finished, and you're looking at the man who finished you. I've already ended your career, and your career doesn't mean a damn thing to me. And you can come out here and pull all these emotional heartstrings and get all these losers out here that I don't give a about anyway, because I hate all of you people, and come out here and hide behind your wife and offer up this thing, but I'm telling you now, your career is already over. I've already taken your career, so no, that's not going to get Jason Cross's match, because I've already won. Perhaps I'll shed a little light in this situation. First off, Rick, I just want you to know that I love you like a brother. I have nothing but respect for you. And I know with all of my heart that one day you'll step back in this ring because you are the icon of Wildside, the most respected wrestler to ever step in this building. No argument here. And if you're a man enough to put your career on the line, if you give me that match with John Finks, I'll put my career on Wildside here on the line. Well, that's an interesting offer, Jason, and I would love to see you take a walk out of the door, preferably like Rick Michaels rolling out of here. But everybody knows that you've got a contract with NWA TNA now, and if you leave here, you still have that. So I'll tell you what, let's make it interesting. Everybody knows that you would be nothing without me to begin with, that I made you in this building, that you were a stinking nobody that I built into a heavyweight champion, and you're obviously nothing without me now, and you're not going to be anything in TNA without me. So what we'll do is when John Phoenix beats you, not only will you leave Wildside, but I will become your manager in NWA TNA and take you to the top there just like I did here. Shut the hell up. Nobody cares what some illiterate redneck thinks. Well, that's a little interesting. That's a little interesting. And I think is Cross, that a deal? Cross is game. Hey, Jeff, it sounds like Rick Michaels has put up his career. God knows Jason Cross has put up a lot to even have to consider dealing with you ever again. It appears you haven't put up anything. I don't have to. I'm the boss, Barons. Well, maybe you are and maybe you're not. See, the board of directors of the National Wrestling Alliance and of Wildside have reviewed your contract as CEO and it's up for renewal. Woo! Yes! That's promising. And I didn't know this was going to happen quite this way. I knew what Rick planned to do. I had no idea what was going to happen here. But I decided regardless that the board of directors needed to be influenced to reconsider rehiring you. And they've decided that if Jason Cross defeats John Phoenix, you're no longer CEO, you have no power in this building ever again. Those are some interesting stipulations. And, and those are the stipulations, Jeff. Can you live with them? So you're saying that in the match, John Phoenix versus Jason Cross, when John Phoenix wins, Rick Michaels is gone, Jason Cross is gone from here, I'm back, guiding you to victory like I always did in TNA, and that's it. Not quite. It's when Jason Cross defeats John Phoenix, in the main event at Christmas Chaos, you're reduced to a piece of garbage like you already are.